Hello and welcome to the video edition of College Deco. Many students have a question about the ZAT score and the percentile. Well, ZAT percentile is slightly different from other percentiles. Before proceeding, let's know some facts about ZAT 2022. Highlights of ZAT 2022 ZAT 2022 was held on January 2nd, 2022. It is an entrance test for admission to the leading MBA institutes in India. Candidates can check their score and predict their percentile and match with the cutoffs to know the eligibility. Candidates must apply to their desired colleges for MBA courses before the deadline. There were a total of 100 questions divided into sections. All questions were MCQ and carried equal marks. ZAT 2022 score versus percentile analysis. Candidates who wish to estimate their percentile need to first download their scorecard. They can download their scorecards from the official website. For example, if a candidate scores 35 in ZAT 2022, it can be estimated as 95 percentile. Similarly, if a candidate scores 32 in ZAT 2022, the percentile would be an estimation of 93 percentile. Therefore, students who score above 30 can be comfortable as they are likely to score 90 plus percentile. Most leading business schools release their cutoffs in this range of percentile. Important points to know ZAT percentile denotes the percentage of students who have scored less than you have scored in the exam. Considering 100 candidates are appearing for the exam and one of them scored the highest in the ZAT exam than any other candidate. That implies that the candidate has scored better than 99 other candidates. Hence, the estimated percentile of the candidate would be 99 percentile. ZAT's score denotes the total marks obtained by the candidate in the entrance exam. ZAT is considerably one of the most challenging papers for MBA admissions because of its scoring patterns. Factors determining ZAT 2022 percentile the ZAT 2022 percentile is purely based on candidate's performance in the entrance test. The percentile of ZAT is determined by considering the following factors. Section-wise difficulty level, number of the test takers, previous year's ZAT percentile, ZAT scores normalization, ZAT score versus percentile. ZAT score and percentile are not quite easy to understand. It is a bit confusing and complicated at the same time. This is why it is best to use the ZAT 2022 percentile predictor tool to estimate a percentile. Candidates must remember that the GK questions of the ZAT 2022 exam will not be calculated for the ZAT percentile. That is, out of 99 MCQ questions, 25 questions will not be included in the calculation of the ZAT percentile. Candidates who are confident of the performance can now start preparing for the upcoming rounds as soon as the announcement of the ZAT 2022 results. If you like this video, do like, share, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel.